Hello guys, I am back and this time I am going to talk about something new. I'm going to talk about Kelfion's ecology. So Kelfion is a totally different territory just west of Bellinos and Serendia. And because its ecology is so extensive, as you can see, this is probably going to require quite a few videos. I'm going to group them up. I'm going to try and uh, make it logical and make it easy for you and for me. And uh, hopefully it goes well. But as always, I'm going to start with the beasts. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, monsters here. But just for you to have an idea where I'm at, I'm just northeast of Kelfion. Show you real quick. So I'm right here, and Kelfian is right here. Um, actually, where I'm at is called uh, Northern uh, Wheat Plantation, and this is where we're gonna start. So, and the ground under this area. There's a cave. There are several caves around uh, this territory, but um, and we're going to find here the baby wargon, the regular wargon, bat. There's several bats in other caves, but we can start here. We want the calfion worm, and then we want the explosive wargon and the wargon egg. So, I'm, as I said, I'm going to start in the wheat plantation and I'm going to go clockwise through the quarry, um, Sonos, uh, Bear, Trent, Munches to get all these things that we need. Alright, so there's your general goods vendor. You see the windmill over there? Just head towards it. And if you turn to your right here, you see a hole on the ground. You're going to drop down. Keep dropping, and you get to the bottom. Doesn't matter which path you take, but um, I wanted you to show the bets. Bets are like up there. And they, as you get closer, they will attack you. You have more bats. They're very annoying. And then you start seeing what you need. And here's your war gun. And then you see war gun eggs. If you get close to these wargon war eggs, you may trigger a baby wargon. So keep going close to them. More bats. They're so annoying. There's you. There's a baby wargon right there. There's also your explosive war guns. They're the eggs that come to you and they'll explode after a couple seconds. And your Kelfian worms. It's kind of hard to see. All, all you can see is their mouths. And um, you see the like smoke seems like fumes coming off the ground it's a, an indication that there's something there and you can't run through so it means there's something here that's your worm so if you get this area there are more eggs there's everything you need all right so next thing we're going to go back up to the wheat plantation and we're going to get the creatures just outside. 
um, to continue our journey here. So I'll see you guys then. All right, we're back outside. I'm uh, just outside the east gate of the plantation. And out here we want the farm boar, locust swarm, plantation big mole, small mole, brown raccoon, and the long-haired water buffalo. So it's going to be, everything is going to be just outside the plantation. But I hear a raccoon. Here it is. There's your brown raccoon. Cute little thing. Vicious. But you can hear it. This is how you it, you would recognize there would be one nearby. If it's like hiding between the flowers and the vegetation. This is how you would find out if there's one. By the, the noise it makes. If you go towards the cornfields you see the farm boars and the locusts a lot of boars here but if you keep following the the main road as if you were going to the knight's castle go past this tower here the house to the left are the Karudus you will see the buffaloes there's some here there's some also north of north of here along the the mountain range from the Karudus. And then, if we go back, you see these farms? This is where you find the moles. There's your small mole. And the big mama. Big one. And that's it for these creatures. Now we're gonna head to ruins. The ruins are just north of here. And we want to look for the spotted deer. You find them all around this area. So I'll see you there. All right, we're just outside ruins between on the mountain between the ruins and Florin the spotted deer seem to be around mainly around that area now the, the spotted deer that you see in the ruins they're possessed ones and that's not what we want this is what we want and you can hear it too You also see hummingbirds, but you don't need the hummingbirds for... Uh, it's not part of the beast list. But uh, usually where you see hummingbirds, you see the spotted deer. Okay. So next, we're going to go south. And we're moving towards uh, the quarry, Kaplan to get more creatures so I'll see you there again all right I am uh, at the Kaplan quarry southeast of Kelfion north of Kaplan and south of north abandoned quarry there are a couple creatures we want from this immediate area here and then I'm going to go south to get a couple other ones on my way. Um, but up here we want the ambushing stone spider, the sharp rock spider. We can also get the Kelfion beetle and the stone crab. So 
these are we're gonna get these here but then I will show you guys more as I move south so from here there's the wooden bridge you, you need to cross it and you start seeing the stone crabs here you also see the Calfion beetles. Calfion beetles are actually in several places, not just here. And then as you move into the actual north abandoned quarry, you will see these steady little things on the f on the ground. The sharp rock spiders, they just stand there, they don't move. And they have these sharp, look like teeth or horns. I'm not sure what they are. They stick out a little and they just stand there. And while we're here, we're going to look for the ambushing spiders. Now, there are not a lot of ambushing spiders, they're usually along the walls. I know two in this area, but there are also some up up top and around this area behind me. They are kind of hard to find. You just have to go around and get close to those walls and, and they'll attack you. So how do you identify it? It's usually like a piece of rock with a hole. Um, and you can see movement but uh, this one is actually not not gonna show any of what I just said but I know there is one in there but I'll show you another one that is very obvious right up against this wall see that there's like a rock with a hole there's something in there and there's one okay so now I'm going to get out of this area go back up And I'm going to stay in this main road here. And I'm going to go down as if I were going to Kaplan. But before I actually get to the city. from So the city is in front of me. I'm going to turn to my left. And there's a little pond here. And you see these shells, these creatures with shells, big house parasitic bees. So these are another, these are um, something that we need as well. So there you go, right there, big house parasitic bee. And then I'm going to move farther um, south where we're going to get the mature stone rat the young stone rat the regular stone rat but also the young mountain goat so you'll see a lot of these parasitic bees around this pond here okay going in the opposite direction Here's Kaplan, just go around main, uh, the main road. You want to get to the other side. Just for you to have an idea where I'm at. We're heading south. To the abandoned quarry. I 
This is the same way if you were going to the giant. Okay, so over here you have everything you need. You have the mature stone rat, the young stone rat here, the stone rat. So just kill all these guys around here. Now, while we're here, if we go up, there's a path. You start seeing goats. And, uh, but these are not the goats that ooh, we're actually looking for. We want the young mountain goat. So just, even though it's like this little guy, you think it, it's a young one, but it's n not really the name. It's just a mountain goat. So you have to go around until you find them. It's not, they don't seem to be very common. There's one right here. It looks just like a regular, there's another one. So it looks like a little goat but yet the other little goat only said mountain goats so be aware of that like this one just it only says mountain goat all right so next we're gonna go um, to the um, Marnie's lab area to look for the fox so we'll see you there I lied sorry I'm not gonna get the rainbow fox just yet I'm missing one while I was at the abandoned quarry I uh, figured that I would go to the giant post right kind of next door almost to get the hyena The spotted hyena. So it's there, it's usually around there's one here. So usually around these giants and you have to, or you have to go inside the posts and there's lots of them inside so you just have to go around this area and kill the hyenas until you get it and then we're gonna go back and now we're going to the Marnie's lab and we're gonna get at the Marnie's lab. We're going to get where is our fox? Rainbow fox and our cuckoo hatchling. So Marnie's lab. Here it is. We're not going to go up this ramp here, going to go around, Pescaplan here, it's a beautiful view with all the tulips, it's 
very pretty. Springtime. So I'm going to leave my horse here because it's a young horse and will be attacked by the chimeras. So and instead of going to the left, like you would as if you wanted to go to the lab, you're going to take this right path instead. Just follow it and you come across foxes and cuckoos. There's a beetle. But in the middle of these cuckoos, you see the little hatchlings. They're so cute. The little chicks with the eggshell on their heads. more foxes you just you kind of see the the shells from far the little white shells and you immediately know they're the hatchlings so around this entire um, area you find what you need so that is um, all for this area so next we actually well it was pushing me <laughs> so uh, next we're going to the west so to this area here the sano camp All right. See you there. Okay, I'm at Sonos Camp, just south of Trina Fort, across from the South Gate. You can see the catapults and the fortress walls and the gate. That's where I'm at. Okay, here. We're looking for the rhino lizard, the iguana, and the stone scaled var. Okay, from here, from the gates, let's go for the iguana first. All you have to do is just cross this area. And here's your um, devourers. They're kind of all over the place, but you also see, start seeing iguanas. If you keep going down this path, past that house, you'll see quite a bit of iguanas. Then you come back. We're going to go for the rhino lizards. Just exit through any of the gates. And then from here, you actually want to go across towards the river. You should be start seeing 
the rhino lizards here. So here's one. And there's another one. Just go along this river and you'll see the rhinos. Okay, next we're actually going to look for the blue lizard and that's along really all right and that's going to be along um, the river south of Calfion so I moved to Bain farmland south of Calfion near the river so from here this is just an example you can start in Calfion it doesn't matter but you will see you can see on the mini map up, up there on the right hand side that there are quite a few red dots but there's also other creatures here but what we're looking for is the blue lizard and here's one so if you follow this river up or down um you'll see them and that's it okay next we're going to uh, head towards bear because we need a couple creatures there. Okay, here we are in bear. Um, okay, around this area we're looking for the mutant gargoyle, the brown bear, the female elk, young elk, regular elk young red boar red boar and the red boar's den so if you're on this is the main road if you're here and you see a small road the road that actually takes you to come Sylvia you want to take that road you see there's your regular elk with antlers your young elk and then you'll see the female elks they're slightly bigger than the young ones and they have fur around their necks uh, chin and uh, top of the head okay keep following the road here for a bit and you turn right you see the gargoyles vegetation is a mess it's destroyed and what you're looking for is the mutant gargoyle if you see in front of me on my screen it says mutant gargoyle but I don't actually see him I see the red target like I can attack it but I don't see the creature So this is pretty much what you have to do is look around until you get another target. There's another one here and that's all you have to do. I don't know if it's if I'm not supposed to see it because of my computer or I have no idea if anybody else sees it. Okay, if you keep going west towards the cyclop area you start seeing the boars the red boars are pretty big and now if you go south towards the mountains the young red boars the little guys little version of the big guys and you'll see also the the dens the red boar dens also your brown bear 
so these dens and the bears and the boars, well, the boars are all over this area. But the bears and the dens are going to be along the mountain here. Next, we're going to um, going near the uh, Mancha's area and the Trent area, just a side Trent. So just let's just head that way to get our final creatures. Okay, now I'm in Trent. And I'm heading to um, Munches. There are only two creatures that we need to finish the beasts. And they are the Red Bear and the Ferocious Weasel. F ferocious Weasel is just outside here. This is heading so north the bridge follow the main road and as you start seeing the trends you will be able to see some ferocious weasels so if you were to, well, try and park in the safe spot, though, but can look for them. Like, here's one. So wherever you see the trance and... All these other creatures here, this is where the weasels are. And then you keep going. Go past the rudems. And here's your Mansha forest. There's a safe area here somewhere. For your horse. Oh, it's this area where you see all these NPCs. And we're looking for the red boar, and I see one. Red bear, I mean. Here's one. There are quite a few around. Just look around for them. Okay, so that'll do it for the Calfion Beasts. Next, we will be talking about the plants. All right, guys, you have a good one. Thank you.